Welcome to Mod Movie Mondays. I'm Steph. I'm Claire, and today we are watching My Cousin Vinny. Mm -hmm. Steph, do you know anything about this movie? Because I will be real, I've never even heard of it before. I have heard of it, and I know that it's a comedy, but that is it. I know it's a comedy mm -hmm. from what I've been told from, like, you guys. Mm -hmm. which I'm really enjoying our comedy streak at the moment. The same. Yes, we need it. <laughs> I, I, I know I love to cry. But I do like I a comedy and it's a nice break from all the sad ones we've been doing. It is. Yeah. So, no, I, yeah, that's all I know about it is it's a comedy. I've never even heard of it. I know it's older than me. Yeah. <laughs> sad one. <laughs> <laughs> Not older than me. <laughs> but I'm excited to see what it's about. Yeah, me too. My sister, this is one of her top movies ever. So oh, okay. I'm excited to watch it, but I have no clue what the plot is or anything. Mm -mm. I'm guessing it's about Guy and his cousin's name is Vinny. <laughs> I guess. That sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just guessing out mm -hmm. of blue here. I don't know. <laughs> Far reach. <laughs> I'm ready to get into it. Are you? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this then. Without further ado, here's my cousin Vinny. That looks like a really fun road to go to. <laughs> <I die. laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Joe Pesci, okay. Get out on my highway, heading down the highway, passing everything inside. Why do I know that name? Um he's on Home Alone. Uh, oh. one of the burglars. Yeah. Ralph Macchio. Macchio. That's the Karate Kid. Alright. Oh, pretty stacked cast. Uh huh. Alabama. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Stop that. I've been there. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> Ah, trauma. Oh, wow, why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> yes, go around, please. But you're not on the passing zone. Okay. Ugh. The trauma can never be behind one of those. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hmm. The face I just made at the flag. No, <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> Tell me you're in the South without telling me you're in the South. Right. Yeah. Even I know that. <laughs> Here's some for 37 cents. Here's some for 32. <laughs> 31. I think that's it. Don't they have any generics here? I think this is their generic. I never heard of that brand. Maybe we should get this one. Maybe it's worth a penny. Huh? Yeah, you're paying for advertising. <laughs> Tuna. We should get I wish food was that cheap here. Okay. Okay. Got protein. We need right. protein. Beans are protein. It goes out to Ernestine from Charles Waver. Jesus. Look, I forgot to pay for this. You could have gotten caught. What if somebody saw? The laws are medieval down here. You know what the minimum age for execution is in Alabama? <laughs> what, 16? 10. 10? <laughs> uh oh. Is that a cop? There's a cop behind us. A cop? There's nothing to worry about, all right? There might be. There's nothing to worry about until there's something to worry about. Just relax, <laughs> please. Is he really worried that they're going to get pulled over for a can of tuna? Damn it. Just... What the? Oh, I had the Show gun. Me your hands. Jesus. Show me your what? Hands. Get him up. Get him up. <laughs> up. Now put your Did hands miss on the part top of your head. <laughs> And get out of the car! I just... <laughs> out of the car! What the fuck? <laughs> oh. oh my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? There's number three and five. Ridiculous. All this over a can of tuna. They put it in a lineup? <laughs> what did they think they did? I don't know. Uh -huh. Like, what the hell? Sure. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, right oh. Wow. Right okay. I think we may get a confession. Cop looks familiar. Do you know why I don't know where I know him? Yeah. I do. I'm sorry. It was a stupid thing. 
<laughs> it's a stupid thing to Have do. Have you made a way of your rights? <laughs> oh, yes. my God. You're willing to waive that right? Yes, I'm willing to cooperate fully. I'll sign a statement or whatever makes this whole thing easier. Please, please, good. please, please make that statement. Before All right? Do it. That's good. But I want you to know, Stan, he had nothing to do with it. What the fuck? Oh, no. Did he help you plan it? Uh. No, I mean... I mean, it wasn't planned out, you know, just like, you know, it just happened. <laughs> Did Stan try to stop you at any time? No. I mean, he was... This is the biggest fuck up in history. Right? Oh my gosh. What about the tuna fish? Then I forgot about the can of tuna fish, and then we, we left. Did he catch you with tuna fish? Is that <laughs> how it started? No, he didn't say anything. But he knew about it. Oh, God, ask the right questions, dude. Let's talk about that for a moment. <laughs> you paid for the groceries. And then what? What? We went out what? to the car, and that's it. I like when how they're being so vague. There forward. we go! <laughs> what? <laughs> At what point did you shoot the clerk? I shot the clerk. Yes, when did you shoot him? I shot the clerk. Oh, God. Hey, Dean, we need you out here. I'm in the middle of a damn confession here. Whoa! <laughs> damn it! <Wait a> <laughs> We've been arrested. Ma, Ma, please. Ma, please. First of all, we didn't do it, all right? <laughs> Murder. No. Ma. <laughs> Ma, please, Ma, Imagine Ma, it's a mistake, a all right? We must look like the guy did. I don't know what we're talking about. We think it's happening. We think it's happening. Oh, my God. We think they're trying to set us up as patsies, Ma. You know how corrupt it is down here? They all know each other. That's right. The clan's here. They're in bread. They sleep with their sisters. <laughs> they are. Uh -oh. so do. All right, Ma, listen. <laughs> we got to get an attorney. It's going to cost a lot of money. That's a great idea. You think he'll do it? What? We got an attorney in the family. Great. Who? <laughs> My cousin Vinny. Yeah. Cousin Vinny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I'm guessing Joe can't be my cousin Vinny. Yeah. 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 Famous for our mud. Famous for your mud? <laughs> How's your Chinese food? You just keep on asking about Chinese food. Can't you tell they don't have Chinese restaurants around here? You gotta let everybody know you're a tourist. Come on. Oh, what are you, a fucking world traveler? <laughs> I like her energy. Uh huh. Yeah. They really, really set them in jail. Right? Now I'll tell you what's condemned okay, this can, like, That's why we're bringing you all uh -huh. out to the state correct. <laughs> You know what happens in these places? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know what happens in these places. And sometimes there's a big guy named Bubba no one wants to tangle with. And he'll protect you. But then you have to become a sex slave and do whatever he wants. There's only the two of us here. <laughs> what about those cots? I mean, what if they put somebody else in here? Stan. Really? Shut up. <laughs> okay. You know, maybe I just start with you. I'll let him sleep a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> hey, I don't blame you. If I was in your situation, I'd why is there this so many um and with his miscommunications? Uh -huh. this movie already. You know, yeah. Let's try our best to make it a simple in and out procedure. <laughs> in and out procedure. <laughs> relax, relax. Oh God, dude. You know, maybe we should spend a couple of minutes together. <laughs> you know, to get acquainted before we, uh, you know, before we get to it. My alternatives? Yeah. To what to you? Mm. I don't know. Suicide, death. <laughs> it's either me or them. You're getting fucked one way or the other. <laughs> oh my god. That's great. Okay. No worry, I'm gonna help you. 
Gee, thanks. Excuse me, but I think a modicum of gratitude would not be out of line here. You think I should be grateful? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's your ass, not mine. <laughs> I think you should be grateful. I think oh, you should be no. down on your fucking knees. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was such an honor to get a visit from you. Hey, I'm doing a oh, favor here, God. you know. You get me for nothing, you little fuck. <laughs> what kind of cases have you had? Assault and battery, armed robbery, you know. No. No, no Count. Well, I expect he's done burglary, grand theft auto, drugs, right, Vin? Nope. No. Nothing <laughs> like that either. What kind what kind what kind of law do you practice? Well, up till now, uh personal injury. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, you graduated from law school six years ago. What have you been doing since? Studying what? for the bar. <laughs> for six, six years. Six years. <laughs> That's a lot of studying. I mean, the bar <laughs> exam is no, to be honest, <laughs> is insane. It is. I but... um, mm -hmm. I didn't pass my first time out. God. That's okay. I mean, it's like second time. days of I'm testing. Mm -hmm. Three times a charm. Not for me, it isn't. Oh, God. Nope. For me, six times was a charm. Oh, once a year. Yeah. I mean, he didn't give up. Six times. No. Most recently, I had an axe murder, which I won on the grounds of temporary insanity. Want to hear the facts of the case? <laughs> no. What else? Let me see. What else? You ever heard of the son of Sam? No. The fellow who received oh. orders to kill from a dog? That one. You defended him? Well, no, not exactly. I, uh, I defended the first guy they arrested. And, uh, he was found innocent and set free. And, uh, they caught the real guy. Well, he was just about to get excited. Right. We don't have any serial killers in Beecham County. When it comes to procedure, I'm not a patient man. Mm -hmm. I advise you, sir, when you come into my courtroom, you would know the letter of the law. I'll react harshly when you don't. You should. Don't think being from New York, <laughs> you're going to get special treatment. I shouldn't. <laughs> you won't. You'll be given no leeway whatsoever. <clears throat> I expect you know this information when you come into my courtroom. Uh -huh. Right. You willing to accept Ooh. those terms? Right. No problem. Jeez. Just this? <laughs> this is gonna be great Vinny's first case so what can I do to help mm -hmm. nothing no mm -hmm. why did you come like I Get why she's there, but I also don't get why she's there. Yeah, like uh... <gasps> Oh my god. What the fuck is that? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a wake up cool in it, huh? Uh-huh. Breakfast? You think? <laughs> Uh, oh my god, that's Ooh. funny. Oh. Uh. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh that's disgusting. Uh huh. Excuse me. You guys down here hear about the ongoing cholesterol problem in the country? <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. I love grits. What's what's this over here? Oh, he doesn't know. You never heard of grits? Mm. Sure, sure. I heard of grits. It's your attorney here. I am the attorney. Oh, Jim Trotter the third. District Attorney of Beecham County. Vincent LaGuardia Gambini. First. <laughs> Brooklyn. I would say the same thing. <laughs> nice to see you. You don't look very prepared, Vinny. No, not at all. And he's just watching everything he does. <laughs> That's cute, though. 
she's like, I want to do my best. I have a notebook. Be <laughs> seated. How badly is this going to go? Ah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. And Stanley Marcus Rock. I'm nervous. <laughs> Counselor, your clients are charged with first degree murder. How they plead. Not Ayana, guilty. Don't talk to me sitting in that chair. Oh. Clear, intelligible voice. I mean, yeah, that's kind of how it normally is. <clears throat> you would Sorry. think he would listen to that. My clients are. What are you wearing? <laughs> huh? What are you wearing? I'm uh, wearing. Uh, Clothes. Clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't get the question. Oh, <laughs> give me go. When you come into my court looking <laughs> like you do, you not only insult me, but you insult the integrity of this court. Really, though? Because right. it is generally just clothes. Uh -huh. I apologize, sir, but uh, this is how I dress. My <laughs> clients are caught completely by surprise. They thought they were getting arrested for uh, shoplifting a can of tuna. What are you telling me? That they plead not guilty? Yeah. No, I I'm just trying to explain. Oh, I don't want to hear explanations. The state of Alabama has its procedure. <sighs> and that procedure at this point in time is to have an arraignment. Are we clear on this? Uh, yes, but uh, there seems to be a great deal of confusion here. Mr. Gambini. Uh, see, my client how do we know Mr. how Gambini. the courts run better than the lawyer does? Right. Oh, God. Oh, All of us. said, guilty, not guilty, go to trial. Uh-huh. answer. Next words out of your mouth are either going to be guilty or not guilty. I don't want to hear commentary, argument, or opinion. If I hear anything other than guilty or not guilty, you'll be in contempt. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't even want to hear you clear your throat. Just say it. I hope I've been clear. Now, how do your clients plead? I think I get. <laughs> no, I oh don't think God. you do. You're now in contempt. Oh my God! <laughs> Would you like Dude. to go for two counts of contempt? Not guilty. Thank you. Wow. Bail will be set at two hundred thousand dollars. <gasps> Damn. Preliminary hearing will be set for nine thirty a.m. tomorrow morning. Bailiff, please take Mr. Gambini into custody. His bail will be set at two hundred dollars. There is one problem. We can't afford to keep bailing you. Uh. I already cashed in half the traveler's checks. I didn't want to cash them in, but I didn't want to bounce a check, so I tried hustling the money, but I got stiffed, so I had to cash in the traveler's Oh, 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 oh. what do you mean you got stiffed? Did you say you got stiffed? Uh -huh. <laughs> These group of people. Right? Pool and chicken. Vincent LaGuardia Gambini. His name's him. JT. JT. I believe you and Lisa played a game of pool for $200, which she won. I'm here to collect. How about if I just kick your ass? Oh, a counter offer. That's what we lawyers, I'm a lawyer, we lawyers <laughs> call that a counter offer. Well, let me see. This is a tough decision you give me here. Get my ass kicked to collect $200. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? I could use a good ass kick, and I'll be very honest with you. <laughs> um, nah, I think I'll just go with the 200. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to kill you? What if I was just to kick the ever-loving shit out of you? In your dreams. Oh, no, 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 no. In reality, if I was to kick the shit out of you, do I get the money? If you kick the shit out of me, yeah, yeah, then you get the money. Okay. What happened? We rented? No, I fell. Oh. Okay. What? Let's see. If what? We the, <laughs> the choice now. I okay. think that is like being like kicked. personally injury lawyer. Yeah. Oh Option yeah. yeah. <laughs> I kick your ass and collect the two hundred. <laughs> All right, Stan, listen to me. You have to see the Gambini's in action. I mean, these people, they love to argue. I mean, they live to argue. 
My parents argue, too. That doesn't make them good lawyers. Stan, I've seen your parents argue. Trust me, they're amateurs. Mm -hmm. I mean, he did a really good job about the kicking your ass $200 thing. Uh-huh, yeah. He needs that he confidence in court. Less exactly. violence, yep. more confidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I routinely <laughs> twist maximum allowable torquage. Well, how could you be sure you used 16 foot pounds of torque? Because <laughs> I used a Craftsman Model 1019 Laboratory Edition Signature Series Torque Wrench. The kind used by <laughs> Caltech high energy physicists and NASA engineers. Well, in she's that very case, smart. How uh -huh. can you be sure that's accurate? Because a split second before the torque wrench was applied to the faucet handle, it had been calibrated by top members of the state and federal department of weights and measures to be mm -hmm. dead on balls accurate. <laughs> Are they Here's a certificate playing? of Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> with shot <laughs> foot <laughs> Yeah. Dead on balls accurate. Duh. And saw two young men run out from the sack of suds and jump into a green car with a white convertible top and drive off like the dickens. Miss Riley, are those two young men present in the courtroom today? But yes, sir, that, they are. That wasn't what happened. Could you point them out for me, please, ma'am? They sitting right there. Small town. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, uh, Mrs. Riley, is this the car? Yes, sir, it is. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, let the record show Mrs. Constance Riley identified the defendant's car. I was making my breakfast. They were all lying. Nice. I saw them two boys go into the store. Then later I heard a gunshot. <gasps> I asked him if he did it. Wow. And he said, I shot the clerk. <laughs> I, I knew that was going to come back yeah. around. Again, I said, knew it. I yeah. shot the clerk. Your Honor, mm. no further questions. Mr. Gambini? Yes. You have anything to add? Thing? Uh, what thing? Not for me to say. Uh, no, sir. Oh, God. You should. He didn't even stand up still. Question the wetness. You stand up. Uh huh. Do you have any other witnesses? No, Your Honor. Stand up. He's still not wearing a suit. I guess with a jacket. I mean, he's on. got a tie. Now, didn't yeah. I tell you the next time you appear in my courtroom that you dress appropriately? You were serious about that? <laughs> oh. oh my God! Jesus, dude. Why didn't you ask them any questions? Questions? Actual questions. Oh, you knew you could ask questions, didn't you, Vin? Maybe if you put oh up some God. kind of a fight, you could have gotten the case thrown out. Hey, Stan. You're an fucking bama You <laughs> come from New York. You killed a good old boy. There is no way this is not going to trial. Does they think they did that? I'm really scared. You should be. How the fuck did I get into this shit? Hmm. Oh, sure. No problem. I could win the case. I already got myself sent to jail twice. You can do I this. I could win I this thing. I believe in no, you. I, mm -hmm. I mean, if I could keep he my ass He needs to believe in jail, himself. Well, I bet I could, yeah. Huh? You know what I think? What? Honestly? I think that once you're out there and you're doing your thing out there, I think you're going to be really great. Really great. I like her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's very smart yeah. and just loving and just... You don't fuck up. Yeah, supportive partner. Supportive, but also says it how it is. Exactly. Like a good one. Yeah. Hang it in. Stan? Uh, Stan, mm. he, he's not coming. Stan. He's, um... Well, he, he wants to go with the public defender. No. Listen, Vin, I, 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 I'm, I'm going with the public defender, too. I'm, no, I'm no. sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I get it. Not to tell you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. 
Look, mm -hmm. maybe I could have handled the preliminary a little better, okay? I admit it. But what's most important is winning the case. He's gonna show you the bricks. He'll show you they got straight sides. He'll show you how they got the right shape. He showed them to you in a very special way. So that they appear to have everything a brick should have. But there's one thing he's not gonna show you. When you look at the bricks at the right angle, they're as thin as this playing card. His whole case is an illusion, a magic trick. It has to be an illusion. Cause you're Why innocent. does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Nobody. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. nobody. Like that generally I'm made sense to me. Beanie, no. <laughs> especially this one. Give me the chance. One chance. Let me question the first witness. If after that point you don't think that I'm the best man for the job, fire me then and there. I'll leave quietly. No grudges. All okay. I ask is for that mm -hmm. one chance. Give him the yeah. opportunity. Yeah, one chance. I think you should give it to me. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, little Yankee boy. Look here what I got. $200. What is it? Mm. $200. <laughs> Bring it here. Let me see it. <laughs> he does not seem confident. Nah. Hmm. How do I know that's not a bunch of ones with a 20 wrapped around it? <laughs> <laughs> it's 200 bucks. It's not. <laughs> Fan it out. Show it to me. Right. <laughs> Why can't you put that in the courtroom? Right. So we got some case ahead of us here, huh? Oh yeah. How do you feel about it? Um. Well, I. I'd like to have a murder weapon. Yeah, they don't have a weapon. But other than that, I feel pretty mm. good. Yeah. The only evidence oh, yeah. they have is those witnesses. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing this afternoon? You going hunting? hunting? That's right. Why are you going Mom. hunting? Shouldn't you be out preparing for court? I was thinking last night. If only I knew what he knows, you know? If he let me look at his files. Oh, boy. Well, I don't get it. What does getting to try his files have anything to do with hunting? Well, you know, two guys out in the woods, guns, on the hunt. I'd sure like to get a look at your files. <laughs> you would. Sure. You got Xerox machine over there? Uh, no. Oh. Really? That's I'm okay. I'll have files. a secretary do it. Shirley, can you Xerox all the files on the Gambini, Rothenstein case for Mr. Gambini? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. It's discovery. That's Both sweetheart. sides are meant to have all the files. Yeah, I mean, that's true, yeah. You have to have it all. <laughs> he thinks this is what? being nice. What's this? You, uh, reading this book? Huh. Yeah. Do me a favor, okay? Don't read this book. All right. All right. Okay? Thank you very much. All right. Don't you wonder why he tried to give you his files? I told you why already. He <laughs> has to. By law, you're entitled. It's called disclosure, you dickhead. <laughs> he has to show you everything, otherwise it could be a mistrial. He has to give you a list of all his witnesses. You can talk to all his witnesses. He's not allowed any surprises. Mm -hmm. They didn't teach you that in law school either? Okay. What did you learn in law school? Right. I just got a fax from the New York State Office of Judicial Records. Oh, he checked up on his... <laughs> Mm -hmm. They have no records of any Vincent Gambini ever trying any case in the entire state of New York. <laughs> uh, you're not going to find any uh, any records of Vincent LaGuardia Gambini practicing in any courts. I just told you that. Uh, you don't <laughs> understand. See, 20 years ago, I became an actor. And uh, there was this very prominent stage actor in New York. His name was Vincent Gambini. Maybe you heard of him. No. Ever heard of him? Doesn't matter. Anyway, I had to change my name, which I did <laughs> legally. So now I practice law under my legally changed stage name. What name is that? <laughs> Jerry Gallagher. <laughs> Jerry Gallagher. What? Gallagher. 
God, what's gonna happen? What the fuck is that? Uh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Why would you do that? Jesus. <laughs> mm. It's gonna be late. Yeah. Like home alone. <laughs> oh, the white shoes! Oh gosh! Oh no! Ugh. Thirty fucking minutes to take a shower, get a new suit, get dressed, and get to the fucking courthouse. You fucking shower, I'll get your fucking suit. Hey, little Yankee, what? Look here! <laughs> I got you two hundred dollars. <laughs> you gonna kick the shit out of me now? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Good job. Right? <laughs> that was good. Oh, colors for the blue. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> Even worse. Oh, Lord. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Mr. Gambini, are you mocking me with that outfit? Uh -huh. Mocking you? No, I'm not mocking you, Judge. Then explain that outfit. I bought a suit. You've seen it. <laughs> now it's covered in mud. This town doesn't have a one hour cleanest, so I had to buy a new suit. You on drugs? Drugs? No. I don't take drugs. I, wish. I don't like your attitude. Right. What else is no? I'm oh, holding God. you in contempt of court. Why? There's a fucking surprise. There's a fucking uh. surprise! <laughs> what? Uh, what did you just say? What I said? Why is he in contempt of court? I think it was for the back talking. Oh, uh, Your Honor. Uh. Not what I think. What I think don't count. You're the jury. It's your job to decide who's telling the truth. Yeah, we got a jury truth. from around here. That's yeah. what verdict means. So word comes down from old England and all our little old ancestors. Mm. Now, we're going to be asking you to return a verdict of murder in the first degree for William Gambini. And a verdict of accessory to murder in the first degree for Stanley Rothenstein. Counselor, you wish to make an open statement? Vinny. Oh my god, please be paying attention. Counselor. He's asleep. Uh, oh my god. Vinny. All right, come on, it's time to make your opening statement. Come on, Vinny. Come on, Vinny. You shouldn't <laughs> do this. Uh, everything that guy just said is bullshit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. Council's entire opening statement is argument. And you, Mr. Gambini, you will not use that kind of language in my court. You understand me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your shit together! Please, just try. <laughs> See, you give my opening statement? Right? It doesn't look like he cares. Well, now. Nah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the uh, of, what? Of, of, of the j -j -j <clears throat> jury, um, Is he a stutter? I on, guess. On, oh, no. On, on, yeah. on January 4th of this year, my client did it. We, we intend to prove 
that day. Yeah. Prosecution's case is circumstantial and, 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 and. Oh. My God. Uh, coincidental, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, the luck of the draw. All right. <laughs> That's it. Mm. What about everything we talked about? Well, I get a little nervous. A little nervous. I'm getting better. Get into their car, and drive off like maniacs, uh, tires screeching, smoking, going oh. up on the curb. Is this the car? Can yes. I the Thank you, sir. <laughs> no further question, John. Your witness. I'll see the only side because I thought Fenny was going to go first. Uh, yeah, no, all right. right. <sighs> Mr. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> uh, 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 Tipton. Tipton. Now, when you viewed my clients... I was going to say that, too. <laughs> how far away were you? About 50 feet. Oh, no. The only time I've ever heard that name. close <laughs> enough to make an accurate... <laughs> see? Uh, I... Uh, I, I, oh my I, God, Vinny! Please, I, wake I, up. Identification. Here to show those eyeglasses to the eyeglasses. jury, please. Thank you. Eyeglasses. <laughs> thank you. Now, Mr. Tipton, were you wearing them that day? No. Well, as you Mac see, <laughs> you were fifty feet away. You made a positive eyewitness identification, and 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 yet. That's a good you argument. You are not wearing your necessary prescription eyeglasses. They're reading glasses. No. Oh. no longer a good argument. Nope. Mr. Tipton, when you viewed the defendants walking from their car into the sack of suds, what angle was your point of view? They was kind of walking toward me when they entered the store. And when they left, what angle was your point of view? He was kind of walking away from me. So would you say you got a better shot of them going in and not so much coming out? You could say that. I did say that. Would you say yeah. that? Yeah. Come on, Vinny. <laughs> Is it possible the two youths... Uh, uh, two what? Youths. <laughs> oh, oh, what was that word? Accent. <laughs> uh, That's funny. Word? Is it possible the two defendants... <laughs> entered the store, picked 22 specific <laughs> items off of the shelves, had the clerk take money, make change, then leave. Then, two different men drive up in a similar... Don't shake your head, I'm not done yet. Wait till you hear the whole thing. So you can understand this. Two different men drive up in a similar car, uh -huh. go in, shoot the clerk, rob him, and then leave? No. They didn't have enough time. Well, how much time was they in the store? Five minutes. Five minutes? Are yeah. you sure? Did you look at your watch? No. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. You testified earlier that the boys went into the store and you had just begun to make breakfast. You were just ready to eat and you heard a gunshot. That's, That's right, right, I'm sorry. So obviously it takes you five minutes to make breakfast. That's right. Mm. Right, so you knew that. Uh, Do you remember what you had? Eggs and grits. Oh, eggs and grits. Eggs and grits, grits too. Five minutes to cook your grits when it takes the entire grit eating world 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a fast cook, I guess. I'm, fast cook. I'm sorry, I was all the way over here. I couldn't hear you. Did you say you're a fast cook? That's it? <laughs> Are we to believe that boiling water soaks into a grit? Faster in your kitchen than on any place on the face of the earth? I don't know. Well, perhaps the laws of physics cease to exist on your stove. Were these magic grits? Magic. <laughs> I mean, did you buy them from the same guy who sold Jack his beanstalk beans? Uh, <laughs> uh, objection, Your Honor. Objection sustained. Are you Mr. sure about Tipton, that five minutes? Ignore the question. Know. Are you sure about that five minutes? Either. I don't know. I think you made your point. Are you sure about that five minutes? I may have been mistaken. There we go. Yes! I got no more use for this guy. <laughs> Thank you, Vinny! Right. Stepping up! <laughs> Finally.
You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> you're fired. I want him. <laughs> I want him. See, want now him. you finally yeah. see it. Yeah. And uh, what is this brown stuff on the windows? Dirt. Dirt? What is this rusty, dusty, dirty looking thing over your window? It's a screen. A screen. It's a screen. And what are these really big things right in the middle of your view? From the window of your kitchen to the sack of soot. Uh -huh. What do we uh -huh. call these big things? Trees. Trees? <laughs> Now, what are these? Mrs. Riley, when you saw the defendants, were you wearing your glasses? Yes, I was. Over here, dear. <laughs> Would you mind putting your glasses on for us, please? Whoa. Oh, God, How long have you wow. been wearing glasses? Since I was six. Have they always been that thick? Oh, no. <laughs> they, they got thicker over the years. So uh, as your eyes have gotten more and more out of whack <laughs> as you've gotten older, how many different levels of thickness have you gone through? Oh, I don't know. This is 50 feet. That's half the distance. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> oh, Let God. the record show that counselor's holding up two fingers. Yana, please, huh? No, why would you say that? Sorry. <laughs> now, Mrs. Riley, and only Mrs. Riley. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up now? Four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What do you think now, dear? Uh, thinking of getting thicker glasses. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm so happy he asked her for help. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I object to this witness being called at this time. We've been given no prior notice he'd testify. No discovery of any tests he's conducted or reports he's prepared. And as the court is aware, the defense is entitled to advance notice of any witness who will testify particularly to those who will give scientific evidence so that we could properly prepare for cross-examination, as well as to give the defense <laughs> an opportunity so to have the witnesses' reports mm -hmm. reviewed by a defense expert who I'm might impressed. then be in a position to contradict the veracity of his conclusions. Mr. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. That is a lucid, intelligent, well-thought-out objection. Not Thank you, Your Honor. Why? Yeah, of course. I mean, that's just favoritism because mm. that shouldn't be overruled. He has every right to prepare his case. Yeah, fuck. Now, the rear tires of the defendant's car, they're the same model and size tire. Michelin model XGV, size 75R, 14 inch wheel. They're the same size and model tire. Anything else, sir? Yes, indeed. <laughs> the car, leaving the convenience store, spun its rear tires dramatically and left a residue of rubber on the asphalt. Now, I took a sample of that rubber and analyzed it. I also took a sample of the rubber from the rear tires of the defendant's Buick and analyzed that, too. What kind of equipment did you use to uh, find this out? I used a Hewlett Packard 5710A dual column gas chromatograph with flame analyzation detectors. Ah. Uh huh. <laughs> that thing turbocharged. <laughs> Only on the floor mods. <laughs> Now, Mr. Wilbur, what was the uh, result of your analysis? The chemical composition between the two samples was found to be identical. Identical. <laughs> He's a showman. I'd like to speak to you in my chamber. Oh, no, that's the guy that was dead. You're a dead name, man. Maybe? Dead yeah. man. That's right. I just faxed the clerk in New York and asked him what he knew about Jerry oh, Gallo. And you want to know what he replied? Mm -hmm. He did. Did you say Jerry Gallo? Yes, I did. Gallo with the G? That's right. Oh. Jerry Gallo's dead. <laughs> I'm aware of that. <laughs> well, I'm not Jerry Gallo. I'm Jerry Callow. C-A-L-L-O. Oh All right. <laughs> All right. 
you gonna hold him in content again? Will that be like his fourth time? Yeah, fourth time. Yeah. Fourth fourth fourth. Right yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think about the case now. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm. Can I help? Can I help? No, you can't yeah. help. I wish Not you could, that. but you can't. Yeah. Look how you're looking at. Me. Look how you. What does that look supposed to mean? I'm a piece of Maybe shit. Maybe she can't help. I can't help. Mm -hmm. if you help. She's helped a lot already. Yeah. Uh, okay, you help. We'll use your pictures. Ah, these are gonna be. You know, I'm sorry. These are gonna be a help. I should have looked at these pictures before. I like. Has this. he not this looked is, at uh, the pictures? This is our first hotel room, right? That'll intimidate Trotter. You know, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Yeah, they keep going over yeah. the tire marks, mm -hmm. but there is something with the tires. Yeah. Is she there? No, she's not there. Oh. Did you find anything? Very, very little. Got a prosecution rest. <laughs> Mr. Gambini? Your first witness. Who are you gonna call? Girls, best days. Sorry. <laughs> it's a different. Mr. Gambini, hmm. I will ask you one more time and one more time only. If I ask you again. Your Honor, uh, please, uh, can I have a five minute recess? The, the, my next witness is not in the courtroom right now. Three minutes. No more. Mm -hmm. Lisa, I need your help. I don't I need give you. a shit. Leave me alone. Uh, you'll see. Uh, Come on, I found it. Uh, I found it. Come on, you'll see. What is going on? Your Honor, the no. defense calls as its first witness, Ms. Mona Lisa Vito. Oh, I object, Mona Your Honor. Lisa this person's not on the witness list. This witness is an expert in the field of automobiles and is being called to rebut the testimony of George Wilbur. Your Honor, Ms. Vito, uh, you're supposed to be some kind of expert in automobiles, is that correct? <laughs> Come on, girl. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> you please answer the counselor's question. No, I hate him. <laughs> Your Honor, may I have permission oh, to treat Ms. Vito as a hostile witness? Oh, you think I'm hostile? Now wait till you see me tonight. Oh. <laughs> Do you two know each yes. other? Yeah, she's my fiance. Well, that would certainly explain the hostility. <laughs> Have you ever worked as a mechanic? Yeah, in my father's garage, yeah. As a mechanic? What do you do in your father's garage? <laughs> Tune ups, oil changes, brake relining, engine rebuilds, rebuild some trannies, <laughs> rear end. Okay, okay. But does being an ex-mechanic necessarily qualify you as being an expert on tire marks? No. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Sit down and stay there until you're told to leave. <laughs> Your Honor. Tell me, what would the correct ignition timing be on a 1955 Bel Air Chevrolet with a 327 cubic inch engine and a full barrel carburetor? It's a bullshit question. Does that mean that you can't answer it? It's a bullshit question. It's impossible to answer. Impossible because you don't know the answer. Nobody could answer that question. Your Honor, I move to disqualify Ms. Vito oh, as an expert She's witness. Gonna... Can you Wait, answer no, the you question? Can't. No, it is a trick question. Mm. Why is it a trick question? Watch this. Because Chevy mm -hmm. didn't make a 327 in 55. The 327 didn't come out till 62. And it wasn't offered in the Bel Air with a four barrel carb till 64. However, in 1964, the correct ignition timing would be four degrees before top dead center. Go off, girl! Mm -hmm. Ha! <laughs> well, um, she's acceptable, Your Honor. <laughs> the fuck she just did that? John, can you tell us by what you see in this picture if the defense's case holds water? <laughs> Mm 
<laughs> she doesn't want to look. <laughs> Miss Vito, please answer the question. Does the She's like, you want my help now? Right. Water. But then she also can't help herself. Uh-huh. No. The defense is wrong. But why? Are you sure? I'm positive. Would you like me to explain? Go I off, girls, do it! <laughs> sure. The car that made these two equal length tire marks had pause attraction. Can't make those marks without pause attraction, which was not available on the 64 Buick Skylark. And why not? What is pause attraction? It's a limited slip differential which distributes power equally to both the right and left tires. The 64 Skylark had a regular differential, which anyone who's been stuck in the mud in Alabama knows you step on the gas, one tire spins, the other tire does nothing. That's right. <laughs> Is that it? No, there's more. You yeah. see, when the left tire mark goes up on the curb and the right tire mark stays flat and even, uh -huh. well, the 64 Skylark had a solid rear axle. So when the left tire would go up on the curb, <laughs> the right tire would tilt out and ride along its edge. But that didn't happen here. The tire mark stayed flat and even. This car had an independent rear suspension. It was the Corvette, which could never be confused with the Buick Skylark. The other had the same body length, height, width, weight, wheelbase, and wheel track as the 64 Skylark, and that was the 1963 Pontiac Tempest. And because She's that like, car drop my was made right. by GM. Go off, girl. Look at her girl. Go. Right. In metallic mint green paint. They what? Thank you, Ms. Vito. In that case, Your Honor, uh, I'd like to recall George Wilbur. <gasps> Ms. Vito, uh, you can stand down. <laughs> the judge is like so into uh -huh. this now. And like, what the fuck? You realize you're still under oath? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Wilbur, how'd you like uh, Miss Vito's testimony? Very impressive. Mm -hmm. She's cute too, huh? <laughs> yes, very. <laughs> Mr. Gambini? Sorry, sorry, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Wilbur, in your expert opinion, would you say that Oh, I forgot about this Ms. bit. Vito I forgot he went off to go do something. Was 100% accurate? Huh. What the fuck did he go do? I don't know. I, I didn't think it was What he wrote And down. is there any way in... Uh, Sheriff Farley. Um, what'd you find out? On a hunch, mm -hmm. I took it upon myself to check out if there was any information on a 63 Pontiac Tempest. Ah, stolen went to go look for the other car. Okay. This computer readout confirms that two boys who fit the defendant's description were arrested two days ago by Sheriff Tillman in Jasper County, Georgia for driving a stolen metallic mint green 1963 Pontiac Tempest <laughs> with a white convertible top, Michelin model XGV tires, size 75R14. Found the other killers. Wow. Is that it? No. Oh, he's even shot. That 357 Magnum revolver was found. <gasps> they had the weapon. murder weapon. Yeah. Hey, Sheriff Farley. Mr. Trotter. <laughs> well, he looks so defeated. Uh -huh. <laughs> he doesn't even care anymore. <laughs> Your Honor, in light of Miss Vito's and Mr. Wilbur's testimony. Drop the cartridges. Dismissed. The state like dismiss all Yes! Oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> for this, I apologize. I mean, under the circumstances, you were great. And um, I just want to say thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I hope we can do it again sometime. Fine, Fine job, Mr. Levine. I think we're doing it again sometime. Uh, <laughs> he wants to get out of there before that. Uh-huh. Then... I was like, why is he trying to run short? Right? He's like, oh, no. Yeah, he's like, ha ha, nope. Mm -hmm. Go on, go on, listen. It's like, I can't Take hear you. Take your time, pick the right words, get back to New York, give me a call. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's like, can I leave? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gambini. No! I have a fax here from the clerk of New York. 
Oh, I owe you an apology, sir. Huh. I'm honored to shake your hand. <laughs> Win some, lose some. Your courtroom manner may be. That's the phone call she was making, I bet. But I gotta uh, tell you, you're one hell of a trial lawyer. Thank you. I uh, bet that's what it was. I was her making a phone call. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I had a friend send a fax to the judge confirming the very impressive legal stature of Jerry Callow. Mm. What friends you got in the clerk's office? Your friend. My friend. Judge Malloy. Aww. Aww. So what's your problem? My problem is I wanted to win my first case without any help from anybody. Well, I guess that plan's a moot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still won your first case, you know, right? this could be a sign of things. I won my first case. You know what this means. Oh, yeah. yeah you think I'm going to marry you? Mm -hmm. Well, you're not going to marry me now? <laughs> no way. You can't win a case by yourself. You fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd get married this weekend. You don't get it, do you? That is not romantic. I want a wedding in church with bridesmaids and flowers. Oh, 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 how many times did you say that spontaneous is romantic? Hey, a burp <laughs> is spontaneous. A burp is not romantic. You know what, Lisa? What's the matter? <laughs> Let's talk about it. It was a fun movie. Very fun movie. Mm -hmm. It was. Very interesting. Yeah. On, like the lawyer side of everything. Mm -hmm. And Vinny needing to step at the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. He was funny. He was really, really funny. Mm -hmm. I liked the type of humor they used in this uh -huh. movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. The use of swear words was perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I love her. She was fucking amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. my favourite person in this movie. Uh -huh. She's awesome. Don't take shit. I love her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my favourite part was I... the bit when they were in the jail and he met Vinny for the first time. That was freaking hilarious. Perfect the way they did it. <laughs> so perfect. Uh -huh. The script, the writing of that. Mm -hmm. Perfection. Because... <laughs> He's also scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's your ass, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, it was great. I loved that. Mm -hmm. Like it was genuinely so funny. Yeah. I gen I like the style of humor that they yeah. did. I think that was one of my favorite pits as well. Uh -huh. Just the utter confusion, yeah, the miscommunication of, of everything. The can of tuna. They thought they were getting arrested for freaking tuna. <laughs> like seriously, people. <laughs> Mm -mm. Like generally talking out about getting pulled over for a kind of shit. <laughs> like, complete I... idiots. <laughs> yeah, but funny. Mm -hmm. Like it fit the way they did it. It fit perfectly. Yeah, I'm not sure why they held not a lot of focus, but a tad focus on the protest. Yeah, and the that guy. I guess maybe to make it more realistic. Maybe... You know? Yeah, maybe that. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like a bigger deal mm -hmm. than it was. But no. I didn't mind the char other characters by the end of it. Me, me too. But at the beginning, like literally one of my notes is Judge is a dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I just underlined it every time it was a dick because there's a lot of underlines on there. <laughs> Um, but by the end of it yeah it was, it was fine cool. he was all of the care even the lawyer guy like he seemed cool and i was very surprised at that he did and i like the, the side defeat. okay no go ahead sorry i was gonna say the side story with the 200 dollars was also really funny <laughs> like <laughs> random but really funny at the same time it was good really random yeah. i think it was a good contrast to showing that he can be confident yes he just needs to apply that in the court system, which he ended up doing. And I just put my pen at myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, um, and then obviously by the end of the movie, he did apply that. And I think that was, it was a good contrast. And I really liked that he did actually beat him up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just jumped him once <laughs> to come <laughs> That was hilarious. That was perfect. He's so small. That guy was so tall. He's still gone. Right? <laughs> 
And him just trying to lobby for more cases. He's like, did you fall in your own uh-huh. else's? <laughs> My own. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. <laughs> I I found it funny that every, like, the two lawyers that they did have, like, Vinny and the public defender, neither were, like, actually good at the uh-huh. <laughs> The stuttering threw me off. I didn't think he was going to, like, be bad at all. <laughs> he was terrible. No. Like, he stood up so confidently. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, okay. And then, boom. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's just not going our way at all. Mm-hmm. And, like, it looked like he was spitting in the face of the jury. Yeah. Disgusting. That wasn't helping a single thing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. I would have hated to read that jury. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Mm-mm. But I'm glad. Um, I think. Yeah, <laughs> we both just have a lot to say today. Right? Shocking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, go ahead. I was just going to say, I was glad that he won it. I was worried that they were going to like find some reason for him not to win, and that would piss me off. Yeah. So. Me too. Mm-hmm. I am really glad that it was. That he won the case. Mm-hmm. And I think I liked that I understood the case. Uh huh. And understood what they were talking about and then understood not obviously in detail of what she meant but i know what she means yeah, from that a little bit, yeah. Mm-hmm. and i like that i can follow it without any like a lot of knowledge on the situation yeah and it makes it a lot more easier to go through it yeah it wasn't very complicated of this case yeah mm-hmm. no especially for a murder case uh-huh. very it true. wasn't that complicated <laughs> And I enjoyed every single way Vinny took down the witnesses. Uh huh. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was very funny. Mm-hmm. What's your rating for this movie? I'd say nine. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. It was good. I'd watch it again and again. I think mine. Me. Yeah, I think I'd watch it again. I think mine would be 8.5. Mm-hmm. I really did enjoy it. It was really fun. Yeah, it was. And they didn't really waste any time, so. They didn't, yeah. It got into it, like, immediately. And that was good. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah. No, I really enjoyed this one. hmm I'm glad I finally saw this movie after 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has been 30, yeah. 30, 30 31. Has it been yeah. three years? Yeah, 93, 92, you said. Yeah, 92. Wow. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah, I'm 25. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. All right. We would love for you to follow us on Twitter at SR Mod Squad. Come give us your opinions on what you thought of our reaction and give us suge- suggestions of what movies you would like us to watch next. Yes. Come just give us your favorite movie suggestions. Mm-hmm. Do what, whatever you think. Sad, happy, funny. Um, you can also check out Logan's reactions up to 20 weeks early on patreon.com slash simple reactions or simple reactions.com there's lots of us we're all over there on the website um mm-hmm. lots of videos for you all to watch come hang out in the groups it's really fun yeah and i think with that we'll see you all next time bye, bye. <laughs>